What's up guys, Techno here again. So, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. But today, I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Lite. So, this is um, the latest upcoming device from Nintendo. So, this Nintendo Switch um, Lite is really basically a device for gamers on the go. So, what are the pros of this device? It's cheap, it's colorful, it's compact, it's lightweight. While it's cons are no tabletop mode and does not connect to the TV. One common question that pops into people's mind when they hear about the Nintendo Switch Lite is what's the point of a Switch when it does not switch? So, good question. That's why Nintendo is releasing this device on September 20. That's going to feature a 5.5 inch 720p HD display. It's cost about $200, which is $100 less than the original Nintendo Switch device. Um, the USB-C no longer connects to the TV, so if you put the Switch lights into the system, duck, nothing's really gonna happen. So, other than that, the Nintendo Switch lights feels good in the end, really. So, the Switch lights packaging looks brighter, and so does the color. It will come and three colors which are the gray um the yellow and the turquoise so so there's also going to be a limited pokemon edition um with pencil like etchings on an off-white case so but it won't come with the game so it's slimmer and the 5.5 inch makes the 720p so less resolution look a bit sharper than the 6.2 inch original nintendo switch but in some cases it's harder to read smaller text so the light feels bigger in the end than the sony's departed the sony dearly departed gaming handle the ps vita but which the switch light isn't really the pocket sized yet but it's jacket friendly um like a game candle so the switch light has most of the same internal switch features of uh, intact sets 2 gig of storage or micro sd card slot same volume button layouts a headphone jack and usb c for charging it comes with the same charger that comes with the original switch um the touch screen has the same resolution but it's smaller again 5.5 inches versus 6.2 inches um it still has a wi-fi nfc and can connect to extra controllers and it should also have a better battery life and roughly 20 to 50 percent more I'm sorry, 20 to 30 percent more depending on the game. The switch lights uses or uh, the switch lights uses or uh, the switch light uses a more efficient processor that enables smaller heat vents on top of the system. Sadly, like the original switch, it won't connect to Bluetooth audio headsets. There's also a new true D-pad on the left side, replacing a set of four buttons on the Switch Joy-Con that offered those same functions. It looks like a better option for playing NES-type retro games, but according to Bowser, don't expect a D-pad on the future Joy-Con. There are no plans or nothing to announce in terms of further variations of Joy-Con. Does this switch does can't do any video output at all? The USB C ports won't work with the switch dock, that means it scans double as a TV connected console, which is half of the switch appeal. As a result, the only display option is the light 5.5 inch screen, which also lacks, a, lacks an auto brightness sensor. Nintendo promises that all handheld mode capable switch games indicated on Switch software will work on the Switch Lite. You could play games like One to Switch or just dance on Switch Lite. You just have to pair Joy-Con controllers to 
that's little 5.5 inch screen oh and find a way and find a way to prop up the switch lights because it lacks a kickstand so but switch lights won't really work with nintendo's weird and wonderful labo cardboard construction kit because it's a completely different size because it's a completely different size <clears throat> But the Switch Lite won't really work with Nintendo's weird and wonderful Labo cardboard construction case because they're completely different size. So clarify, some Labo features will work if you find the Joy-Cons and pair them wirelessly, but some sets like the VR kits won't work at all. Does not any of the switchable stuff of a matter? Though, if, you are, if all you are using the Switch for is to play games on the go, and saving hundred dollars in the process. Thank you guys. See you later again. Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon below to receive an update anytime I upload a video and also share with your friends and families. Thank you. Bye bye.